Have you heard of GRNY Crypto? Well, he made over 100 million from buying NFTs. Have you heard of Felosius, who is under 20 years old and made tens of millions from selling NFTs? I believe the trend most likely is not over yet and people could still prosper. It more so currently is on a pause but when the next upward cycle arises, the NFT market could explode. In this video, we'll explore data regarding the current market state of the sector, we will talk about the problems that are being solved, and we will go through some key market data visualized with some charts. Hello guys and welcome to the Market Watcher, a place for gathering traditional financial and crypto knowledge. Subscribe to the channel if you believe that being financially free and wealthy is important for you and your loved ones. Hit the bell icon so that you can get notified every time we upload a new video. As always, everything said is not meant to be taken as financial advice all is with educational purposes only. As stated by one of the largest crypto funds out there, A16Z, we've seen several categories of NFTs emerge, but it's still very early days. Let's discuss the evolution of NFTs through time. First, we had the so-called now PFP NFTs, profile picture NFTs. The regarded as the first ever NFTs were the CryptoPunks, which are a PFP NFT collection. They are called this because their images displayed mostly on social media and they represent an online identity. The most valuable current PFP collection is the Bored Ape Yacht Club collection and very famous celebrities use NFTs from those collections for their profile pictures on Twitter or Instagram. Some examples are Neymar Jr., Eminem, Serena Williams, Jay-Z and many many others. This is a so-called flex and a status symbol showing how rich a certain person is. In a real world filled with fake photos, fake clothes, fake watches, rented cars and mansions, to a digital item that is truly original and only yours and it can be verified via the blockchain which is decentralized. PFP NFTs are a social statement but NFTs can be so much more. The second iteration of the NFT technology would be the incorporation in art and music. This allows for a much more efficient and transparent way for artists to monetize their work. One of the main NFT artists are Pac, who sold the most expensive ever NFT called The Merge for more than $91 million. The second most expensive sale is by the artist Beepo, who sold his masterpiece the first 5,000 days for nearly $69 million. An artist who has made millions is Felosius. NFTs are incredible technologies which fix the lives of every artist in a way that was unimaginable a decade ago and the problems that are being fixed are thousands of years old. As you probably have all heard, during the Middle Ages in Europe, when the Renaissance was emerging, a lot of ingenious artists died poor because their works of art were only appreciated after they first sold them for pennies. The problem is called the first sale problem, where after the masterpiece was first sold, the value which was then accrued was all going to the resellers and nothing went to the artist. This was fixed by the NFT technology and the royalty system which can be implemented. After each resale of an NFT, around 10% is going to the original creator and not only that, now with the implementation of NFT technologies, Artists can take care of their families and loved ones for generations to come. 
because when they pass away, the rights to the NFT would be transferred just like a business is being inherited. The next two evolutions of the NFT technologies were seen in the gaming world and also we saw a lot of different utilities being implemented. Let's now discuss the first change in the gaming sector. As we discussed in our GameFi analysis video, the gaming world is changing because before players could not own their digital in-game items and they could not sell them. This means they could not make money unless they were incredible players or had sponsors or social media viewers. Now they make money just by being lucky to get a rare NFT item or if they play just consistently or they just started to play a game in the very early days before a lot of other players and the in-game economy was not as developed. When discussing the utilities, we're talking about NFTs that represent the digital ownership to a certain special access, benefits, rewards or membership accesses. For example, one of my friends has an NFT which gives him access to a hidden Discord channel where very valuable information is being presented. The cost for this NFT is about 3 Ether and basically this is the cost to enter the Discord group. But unlike a regular membership pass, you can easily sell this one and if the group becomes more valuable or if we are in an NFT market uptrend, the value will start to increase. Another example of an interesting NFT mechanic is the Steppen app which is implementing a Ponzinomics type of system where each buyer of their NFT shoes can download an app and if each day he runs or walks a certain amount of miles, he is rewarded with another token called GMT. In this case, the utility is that you can download the app and start making money with it. The utilities are quite vast and we will make another separate video about them and we will go in great detail about the enormous possibilities. The last implementation and evolution of NFTs are in the virtual world space, where they give the right and possibility to have ownable properties existing in the new virtual worlds. We can also own the items in those worlds and again they are NFTs. Let's now discuss the current state of the market. As we can see the NFT market remains hot and the mainstream adoption is coming closer and closer. On the chart you can see that even with this year's massive drop in crypto prices, the NFT market is increasing its amount of unique buyers and sellers and the volume is also slowly rising over time. This indicates that the market is going to explode when the next uptrend arises. The two largest NFT platforms are OpenSea, which is an Ethereum and Polygon based platform and the second largest is Magic Eden, which is a Solana based platform. On the two charts you can see the amount of volume on OpenSea and the amount of volume on Magic Eden. Currently the volume is quite low compared to previous periods but this is due to two things. First lower prices and second lower interest. But over time more and more creators will start using decentralized platforms to offer their content and this is due to the fact that Web3 platforms have a much lower take rate than traditional internet giants. For example, OpenSea takes a 2.5% cut from every sale while the cut for YouTube advertising is 45%, Apple's App Store takes up to 30% take rates, while other platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram don't even allow you to make money and have a 100% take rate. As stated by Richie Torres, a US congressman representing the South Bronx, you know there is something profoundly wrong with our economy when big tech has a higher take rate than the mafia. 
NFTs offer creators a whole new way to monetize their audience directly. Let's look at some key data that shows how much better is the new model for creators. NFTs currently generate 3.9 billion, stemming from around 22,400 creators. This gives an average volume per creator of $174,000. For example, Spotify has 11 million artists and each artist generates $636 on average. YouTube generates $15 billion, which stem from 37 million channels, which gives an average dollar amount per channel of only $405. While Facebook has nearly 3 billion and the average dollar amount a user makes from Facebook is around 10 cents. The NFT innovations are incredible and are all over the place from airdrops to IP commercial rights, music royalties, IRL activation, NFT DAO governance, and those are some of the more interesting new concepts. We will closely follow the NFT market as well as other key crypto themes. And this is why you want to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next video.